how would you describe the Max Magic books? The way I would describe the Max Magic books for someone who's never read them, have you read any of them? Yeah, I read both. Oh, good man. Oh, yeah. this is great news. Yeah. And be honest. Yes, I have. No, but no, but be honest in terms of do you like them? Be honest. Oh, oh I love them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's all about a young person called Max. And Max is based on me. And Max loves magic, like I was just saying. I love magic. And Max really wants to be the greatest magician ever. He wants to be Max the Magnificent. So he tries everything he can to learn as much as he can, but the reality is he can only learn so much until he finds a magic power. And then his world changes. Mysterious. Mysterious, yeah. yeah. Magical. Yeah. Magical. Yeah. This is true. So that's how I'd describe the books. Do you like reading when you were a kid? Did I like, yeah, I did like reading. Um, the thing was, I always wanted to perform. Right. And I didn't realise how important reading was mm. in terms of learning stuff. Mm. So I wanted to learn magic all the time. And there weren't social media, there wasn't like YouTube or anything like that. So the only way I could learn properly was to, to read books mm. about magic. So that's why I loved and I read a lot. So Max is always getting into trouble mm. and sometimes he had to use his magic to get out of a sticky situation. Have you ever tried to use magic to get out of a sticky situation? Well, let me tell you why. I can let you in on a really big secret. Lots of this stuff that I do on TV or on stage in theatre like this, um, if anything ever goes wrong, I've always got a pack of cards in my suit pocket or in my back pocket so that I know if I'm in trouble, I can take the pack of cards out and I can do a couple of tricks. I've had tricks go wrong, and as a magician, let me tell you now, if you're going to get into magic, you need to make sure you've always got a way of getting out of tricks. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, mm -mm, you're going to look very silly. Yeah. That's why in the books, at the back of the book, I show you how to do loads of tricks. And I, you scan the code, and it takes you into my own home, and then I show you the trick, and then I show you the secret. And then I give you some performance tips. Yeah. That's how we discovered your rubber band trick. That's how you discovered the rubber band trick. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and in the back of the book, without the QR code, I learned how to palm a coin. Well, mm -hmm. this is the thing, right? See, and some people might go, well, what's palming a coin? Well, palming a coin is where you, you hide a coin in your hand, but nobody knows how you're hiding it. So it makes you uh, able to make coins vanish or make objects vanish. So yeah, this is good. Um, you, you have read the books. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because some presenters, they, they sometimes say things and they're not telling the truth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But I can tell you a telling truth. Yeah, it's mm. all good. Why did you want to write a book? Well, there's so many things that I've wanted to do um, in my career from the age of 11. That's when I started Magic Right. And I thought, well, what could I write about? Well, I can't write about certain things because I don't know about them. But what do I know about? Well, the one thing I know everything about, I hope, is magic. So I thought, how are we going to do it? And then somebody said to me, well, why don't you write about yourself? And I think, I don't know about you, but I think I'm a bit too young to do an autobiography. Yeah. Thank you. So in Max Magic, there's a tiny bit of the story of my life growing up. Um, my two brothers and my sister are in it. My mum and dad are in it. And lots of the stories um, relate to things that I've gone through. Some things are amazing, some things are brilliant, some things are funny, um, and then there's some things that are not so good. Um, some, some hard things that you go, oh, that's a bit tough, but with help from friends and family, uh, you'll realise if you read the books that um, you can get through it if you get support from the people that you love. Yeah. And who love you. Really wise words. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank really you. wise. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever write a book? Um, yeah. Would uh, you like to? Come, come, it'll come around, yeah. Mm. Yeah, a bit more of a mysterious enigma. Yeah, intense. You could take over. Yeah. When I stop. Yeah. Which is not going to happen, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you could take over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me and Lottie could like uh, change the book. They can look after Stephen's legacy. Wow, this is good. Yeah. yeah, I know it's in safe hands with you two. So, who's the best magician you've ever met? Right, well, let me tell you a few things, right? Who's the best magician? Um, the one magician I wish I'd met was a magician called Harry Houdini. Oh, and he was, a, yeah. you've heard of him, right? Yeah. So, he's a, an amazing apologist, right? And the story goes that when he would escape from the chains and he'd have 
thousands and millions of people, because um, there was no TV then, they would they'll be lining the streets and he'll be doing these big stunts like David Blaine does now, another magician. And the secret is, supposedly, that he escaped by a hidden key. But how did he get the key? Well, his wife would always give him a good luck kiss before he started. And supposedly, that's how he got the key. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't get to meet him. Oh. So, who's the best magician I've ever met? I'm going to go for hmm, a magician called Paul Daniels. Mm. And he was like the best magician in the UK. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Quick fire questions. Oh. Hearts or diamonds? Hearts or diamonds. I love diamonds, but it's got to be hearts. Christmas or Halloween? Mm, Christmas, easy. Would you like a fly like a bird or swim like a fish? Fly like a bird. Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs. Well, I'm going to go dogs, although I know you like cats. Audio book or no normal book? Normal books. Morning or night? Definitely morning. Ant or deck? Oh, no, you can't ask me that. <laughs> That's like asking me which one of you two I like the best. I like you both. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the idiot's house, knock knock. Who's there? Oh, oh no! I heard the bell before. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, wow. It's okay, Stephen, it's okay. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. It's a good joke. 